Horrid Henry and the Football Fiend. Chapter 1 And with 15 seconds to go, it's Hot Foot Henry racing across the pitch. Rooney tries a slide tackle, but Henry's too quick. Just look at that step over. Oh no, he can't score from that distance. It's crazy, it's impossible. Oh my goodness, he cornered the ball. It's in, it's in. Another spectacular win. And it's all thanks to Hot Foot Henry, the greatest footballer who's ever lived. Goal, 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 roared the crowd. Hot Foot Henry had won the match. His teammates carried him through the fence, cheering and chanting, Henry! 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 Horrid Henry looked up to see Miss Battle Axe leaning over his table and glaring at him with her red eyes. What did I just say? Henry? said Horrid Henry. Miss Battle Axe scowled. I'm watching you, Henry, she snapped. Now, class, please pay attention. We need to discuss. Wah, wailed Whippy William. Susan, stop pulling my hair, squealed Vain Violet. Miss, shouted Inky Ian. Ralph snatched my pen. Didn't, shouted Rude Ralph. Did, shouted Inky Ian. Class, be quiet, bellowed Miss Battle Axe. Wah, wailed Weepy William. Ow, squealed Vain Violet. Give it back, shouted Inky Ian. Fine, said Miss Battle Axe. We won't talk about football. William stopped wailing. Violet stopped squealing, Ian stopped shouting, Henry stopped daydreaming. Everyone in the class stared at Miss Battle Axe. Chapter 2 Miss Battle Axe wanted to talk about football? Was this an alien Miss Battle Axe? As you all know, our local team, Ashton Athletic, has reached the sixth round of the FA Cup said Miss Battle Axe. Yay! shrieked the class. And I'm sure you all know what happened last night. Last night? Henry could still hear the announcer's glorious words as he and Peter had gathered round the radio as the draw for round six was announced. Number 16, Ashton Athletic will be playing. There was a long pause as the announcer drew another ball from the hat. Number 7, Manchester United. Go, Ashton, shrieked hurried Henry. As I was saying, before I was so rudely interrupted, Miss Battle Axe glared at hurried Henry. Ashton are playing Manchester United in a few weeks. Every local primary school has been given a pair of tickets. And thanks to my good luck in the teacher's draw, the lucky winner will come from our class. Me! screamed Horrid Henry. Me! screamed Moody Margaret. Me! screamed Tough Toby, Aerobic Al, Fiery Fiona, and Brainy Brian. No one who shouts out will be getting anything, said Miss Battle Axe. Our class will be playing a football match at lunchtime. The player of the match will win the tickets. I'm the referee and my decision will be final. Chapter 3 Horrid Henry was so stunned that for a moment he could scarcely breathe. F.A. Cup Tickets F.A. Cup tickets to see his local team, Ashton, play against Man U. Those tickets were like gold dust. Henry had begged and pleaded with Mom and Dad to get tickets. But naturally, they were all sold out by the time Henry's mean, 
horrible lazy parents managed to heave their stupid bones to the phone. And now, here was another chance to go to the match of the century. Ashton Athletic had never got so far in the cup. Sure, they'd knocked out the Tooting Tigers. Chant, Toot Toot Grrr! The Pinchley Fightins and the Chain Champions. But Manchester United! Henry had to go to the game. He just had to. And all he had to do was be man of the match. There was just one problem. Unfortunately, the best footballer in the class wasn't Hurried Henry, or Aerobic Al, or Beefy Bert. The best footballer in the class was Moody Margaret. The second best player in the class was Moody Margaret. The third best player in the class was Moody Margaret. It was so unfair! Why should Margaret of all people be so fantastic at football? Hurried Henry was brilliant at shirt pulling. Hurried Henry was superb at screaming, Offside! Whatever that meant. No one could howl, Come on, ref! Louder. And that toe treading, elbowing, barging, pushing, shoving, and tripping. Hurried Henry had no equal. The only thing Hurried Henry wasn't good at was playing football. But never mind, today would be different. Today, he would dig deep inside and find the power to be hot food Henry for real. Today, no one would stop him. F.A. Cup match, here I come, thought Henry gleefully. Chapter 4. Lunchtime Hurried Henry's glass dashed to the back playground where the pitch was set up. Two jumpers either end marked the goals. A few parents gathered on the sidelines. Miss Battle Axe split the class into two teams. Aerobic Al was captain of Henry's team. Moody Margaret was captain of the other. There she stood in midfield, having nabbed a striker position, smirking confidently. Hurried Henry glared at her from the depths of the outfield. Na 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 na. I'm sure to be man of the match, trilled Moody Margaret, sticking out her tongue at him. And you won't. Shut up, Margaret, said Henry. When he was king, anyone named Margaret would be boiled in oil and fed to the crows. Will you take me to the match, Margaret? said Susan. After all, I'm your best friend. Moody Margaret scowled. Since when? Since always, wailed Susan. Huh, said Margaret. We'll just have to see how nice you are to me, won't we? Take me! begged Brainy Brian. Remember how I helped you with those fractions? And called me stupid, said Margaret. Didn't, said Brian. Did, said Margaret. Hurried Henry eyed his classmates, everyone looking straight ahead, everyone determined to be man of the match. Well, wouldn't they be in for a shock when Hurried Henry waltzed off with those tickets? Chapter 5 Go, Margaret! screeched Moody Margaret's mom. Go, Al! screeched Aerobic Al's dad. Everyone ready? said Miss Battle Axe. Bert, which team are you on? I don't know, said Beefy Bert. Miss Battle Axe blew her whistle. Kick off, kick, chase, kick, dribble, dribble, pass, kick, save, goal kick. Henry stood disconsolately on the left wing, running back and forth as the play passed him by. How could he ever be man of the match stuck out here? Well, no way was he staying in this stupid spot a moment longer. Hurried Henry abandoned his position and chased after the ball. All the other defenders followed him. Moody Margaret had the ball. 
heard Henry run out behind her. He glanced at Miss Battle Axe. She was busy chatting to Mrs. Oddbod. Hard Henry went for a two-foot slide tackle and tripped her. Foul! He hacked my leg! Liar! I just went for the ball! Cheater! screamed Moody Margaret's mom. Play on! ordered Miss Battle Axe. Yes, thought Henry triumphantly. After all, what did blind old Miss Battle Axe know about the rules of football? Nothing. This was his golden chance to score. Now, Jazzy Jim had the ball. Hurried Henry trod on his toes, elbowed him, and grabbed the ball. Hey, we're on the same team, yelled Jim. Hurried Henry kept dribbling. Pass, pass, screamed Al. Man on! Henry ignored him. Pass the ball? Was Al mad? For once, Henry had the ball and he was keeping it. Then suddenly, Moody Margaret appeared from behind, barged him, tripled the ball past Henry's team, and kicked it straight past Weepy William into goal. Moody Margaret's team cheered. Weepy William burst into tears. Wah! wailed Weepy William. Idiot! screamed Aerobic Al's dad. She cheated! She fouled me! shrieked Henry. Didn't! said Margaret. How dare you call my daughter a cheater! screamed Moody Margaret's mom. Miss Battle Axe blew her whistle. Go to Margaret's team! The score is 1 0. Chapter 6 Hurried Henry gritted his teeth. He would score a goal if he had to trample on every player to do so. Unfortunately, everyone else seemed to have the same idea. Ralph pushed me! shrieked Aerobic Owl. Didn't! lied rude Ralph. It was just a barge. He used his hands. I saw him. Howled Al's father. Set him off. I'll send you off if you don't behave. Snapped Miss Battle Axe, looking up and blowing her whistle. It was kept in, protested Henry. No way, shouted Margaret. It went past the lion. That was ball to hand, yelled kind Kasim. No way screamed aerobic owl i just went for the ball liar liar free kick to margaret's team said miss battleaxe ouch screamed soraya as brian stepped on her toes grabbed the ball and headed it into gold past kasim hooray cheered al steam foul screamed margaret's team Score is one all, said Miss Battle Axe. Five more minutes to go. Ah, thought hurried Henry. I've got to score a goal to have a chance to be man of the match. I've just got to. But how? How? Henry glanced at Miss Battle Axe. She appeared to be rummaging in her handbag. Henry saw his chance. He stuck out his foot as Margaret hurtled past. Crash! Margaret tumbled. Henry seized the ball. Henry hacked my leg! Did not! I just went for the ball! Ref! screamed Margaret. He cheated! screamed Margaret's mom. Are you blind, Ref? Miss Battle Axe glared. My eyesight is perfect, thank you, she snapped. Tee-hee, chortled, hurried Henry. Henry trod on Brian's toes, elbowed him, then grabbed the ball. Then Dave elbowed Henry, Ralph trod on Dave's toes, and Susan seized the ball and kicked it high overhead. Henry looked up. The ball was high, high up. He'd never reach it, not unless... Unless... 
Henry glanced at Miss Battle Axe. She was watching a traffic warden patrolling outside the school gate. Henry leapt into the air and whacked the ball with his hand. The whack! The ball hurled across the goal. Goal! Screamed Henry. He used his hands! Protested Margaret. No way! Shouted Henry. It was the hand of God. Henry! 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 Cheered his team. Unfair! Howled Margaret's team. Miss Battle Axe blew her whistle. Time! She bellowed. Owl's team wins two one. Yes! Shrieked hurried Henry, punching the air. He'd scored the winning goal. He'd be man of the match. Ashton Athletic versus Man U. Here I come. Hurried Henry's glass limped through the door and sat down. Hurried Henry sat at the front, beaming. Miss Battleax had to award him the tickets after his brilliant performance and spectacular game-winning goal. The question was. Who deserved to be his guest? No one. I know, thought hurried Henry. I'll sell my other ticket. Bet I get a million pounds for it. No, a billion pounds. Then I'll buy my own football team and play striker any time I want to. Hurried Henry smiled happily. Miss Battle X glared at her class. That was absolutely disgraceful. She said, "Cheating, moving the goals, shirt tugging." She glared at Graham, barging. She glowered at Ralph, pushing and shoving. Bad sportsmanship. Her eyes swept over the class. Hurried Henry sank lower in his seat. Oops. And don't get me started about offside. She snapped. Hard Henry sank even lower. There was only one person who deserved to be player of the match. She continued, one person who observed the rules of the beautiful game, one person who has nothing to be ashamed of today. Hard Henry's heart leapt. He certainly had nothing to be ashamed of. One person who can truly be proud of their performance. Hurried Henry beamed with pride, and that person is me! Screamed Moody Margaret. Me! Screamed Aerobic Al. Me! Screamed Hurried Henry. The referee said, "Miss Battle Axe." What? Miss Battle Axe, man of the match. Miss Battle Axe, a football fiend. It's not fair! Screamed the class. It's not fair! Screamed hurried Henry.